my paintings are not easy to understand. And everyone has a different opinion. That's an uh, understatement, my uh, friend. Okay. This one is called methane, joins with carbon dioxide from under the ocean to boil the planet. Could we go back here? Absolutely. And whatever you, you want to pick whatever you'd like to say that you think is, uh, needs to be explained or? Well, maybe this part does not need explanation. Um, <clears throat> at the federal level, we've really had a uh, really failure of leadership in dealing with the global climate issues. And that's why I'd like to see this perspective, sort of Congress disappearing in the distance uh, as they do nothing. But there's other things. Uh, tell me about this, well, Michael. It, it, to, that's to, the methane. That's the methane. And the methane, as you know better than me, there's trillions and trillions and trillions of tons underneath the ocean and in other places. And it's presently locked there but it is starting to become unlocked. And this is the carbon dioxide monster that we created, and it is warming the ocean, and it's sending the heat down underneath the ground. And this heat... I notice there's a lock that's getting melted and, and broken. And the heat is melting this lock over this plate, and out is right now what is happening, carbon, uh, methane emissions are starting to come out. And as they come out, they are getting stronger and stronger, and they are creating a new monster, the methane monster. And you know better than me, methane has a worse impact on warming of the planet than the carbon emission. And what we have here is the methane joining with the carbon to create this hot heating element, this heating element, to boil the planet. And, and I certainly hope that this never happens and that the painting helps people understand that we've got to take good legislative action, administrative action, to avoid that from happening because the downside of the worst <coughs> consequences are not certain. We hopefully that it won't happen, but they're irreversible. Most of these things, if they happen, you can't reverse them. So you mentioned uh, the legislative process and the, the big change that could occur in Washington, in Congress, is the results of the 2016 election. Do you think that is a special, considering where the concentration of emissions are right now and where they're going, even with your energy efficiency, do you think this 2016 election is of more significance? I look at I think every election is of significance. I don't th see anybody really out there who's, who's uh, looking at this as a, as a primary issue. I mean, among all of the candidates, they're all going to have to be educated on this. And so I am not sanguine about the, fa about the, the opportunities for improving things at the federal government level. level. What really has been exciting is that uh, at the state level and, and many other states, but California's taking leadership, we're uh, doing something that is shaking the boat uh, whether these will ultimately lead to the really large carbon dioxide reductions that we want, we don't know because it has to be implemented. But we in California are creating models that can be picked up in other states and other nations. And um, I think it's the subnational levels where there's some of the most interesting things happening that are giving us the most hope for the change. But at our federal level, um, I hope you're right that this election will make a big difference. I'm not convinced it will. Okay. I just want to go back to something you said earlier to me, that uh, one of your goals is to help raise the level of discussion 
publicly. And I want to say I'm honored that you display my work at your event every year. Jim, Michael, thank you. Thank you, and thank you for each year providing really beautiful artwork, but provocative artwork okay. at our center. Great. Keep doing it. Thank, thank you. you.